they have declared states of emergency, getting resources where they're needed for the response to the storms. Over 24,000 people now without power. 65 million are under wind advisories through tomorrow. Right now, updating you on the current watches that are out there, meaning the atmosphere is ripe for tornadoes. Conditions are favorable. Tornado watch down across the deep south does include New Orleans. This is until 6 o'clock central time, so it goes for about another half hour or so. A little bit farther north, we have a tornado watch around Jackson, Mississippi. Then one extends all the way eastbound into Pensacola. These are areas of extreme danger today. In fact, the one watch that's out here for on Mobile and Pensacola, known as a PDS, a particularly dangerous situation, meaning we could have very intense tornadoes and we could have long track tornadoes and that threat will go well past dark tonight. All right, let's let, head to the lab right now and check in with our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes. He has a look at these dangerous storms. Dr. Forbes. Thanks, Mike. And we have a mixture of embedded supercells in lines that are really a problem to see them coming. Of course, it's going to get dark. You won't see them coming. Tornadoes at night, very dangerous. And some supercells and even a few severe thunderstorms way back behind this first round. That's with the upper air forcing and close to the surface low. We'll focus on these three storms that have tornado warnings on them. One can has come off Pontchartrain. One is about ready to move into Alabama. The other uh, north and east of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I'll start with this one. Earlier, it's had a history of producing uh, tornadoes and damage. Right now, St. Tammany Parish in Louisiana and Hancock and Pearl River counties in Mississippi with the tornado warning. It is moving a little bit more to the east now. It may be trying to gust out just a little bit with damaging winds, but coming towards Slidell uh, about 537, Kiln and Diamond Head 602, 606 p.m. Then uh, off to the north, the Laurel area, this little uh, spinning storm here uh, seems to have weakened a little bit. There had been a tornado warning for that, a severe thunderstorm warning now for George, Green, and Perry counties. If it rotates again, it would be coming up toward the Shubata uh, area. Uh, then taking a look here, uh, uh, parts of Mississippi and Alabama, Green, Washington, and Wayne counties coming across the border near the Fruitdale area. Well embedded circulation showing up in here. Uh, coming toward the Fruitdale area, about 555, Chad them about 609 and take a look at this the velocities on this one this is a you can see a big curtain here of separating the greens and the reds but there's one place right in there where it's the tightest and so that's the most likely place to get a tornado but sometimes those little circulations will jump north and south uh, we don't have any severe warnings at the moment up along i-55 north of jackson mississippi but we do certainly have a surface low that is very intense here for so far south and a warm front that runs east of that across just to north of Jackson over to south of the Atlanta area. Very warm temperatures and winds at low levels up to 75 miles per hour coming northbound over top of this warm, moist air. So the primary severe threat tonight is going to be across uh, anywhere into uh, Tallahassee, maybe up to the Atlanta area with at least some severe threat, maybe even some slight threat up in the middle parts of Tennessee but the highest tornado threats are southeast Louisiana, southeast Mississippi with Turcon values of 8 on the 10-point scale, tornado condition index 8 all the way across southern Alabama and the western Florida panhandle. 6 is up into central parts of Alabama and most of the rest of the area are in the 3 to the 4 range. So uh, we'll be looking at that tomorrow. Surface will be heading up into the eastern part of the Ohio Valley, but warm, moist air and the warm front coming up across the Carolinas. That upper air disturbance kicking its way, elbowing its way up into the area with a strong low-level jet. So tomorrow, severe thunderstorms maybe even as far north as uh, East Pennsylvania and New Jersey, all the way down with a squall line coming across Florida. I've given the highest Torcon values here, uh, fives, uh, sixes across uh, the North Carolina, Virginia area, even as much as a four across parts of Florida. Let's go back now underground. All right, thank you very much for the update, Dr. Forbes. And Dr. Forbes is going to keep us updated on the radar throughout the evening. We're going to take you live to the scene of some of the areas that are being hit by storms this evening. That includes Pearl, Mississippi, just outside of Jackson. Mike Seidel is there this evening. Mike, we're hoping now that the squall line's gone through. Maybe you'll be in the clear for the remainder of the night in Jackson. 
Uh, as far as severe goes, we're certainly in the clear right now. We're looking off to the east and north, and there are darker clouds. That's where the heavier rain moved on through. The squall line missed us. We had a couple of warnings to our north, a severe thunderstorm warning, tornado warnings off to our north and off to the uh, east of Vicksburg. Then you look off to the west and south. Look at this pretty sky. We've got the uh, lowering sun angle as the sun uh, gets ready to set here, about 5.53 central time. And in the foreground, we've got some scud where the atmosphere is condensed into the gray scud clouds there on the lower levels of the atmosphere. But the rain has stopped here, and you can look on the radar right now, and we're done with this. Now, overnight, the upper low is going to come close. So we may have some showers overnight, maybe some thunder. But temperatures are going to fall back from the 60s right now. Tomorrow morning, we're going to drop back to about 43 to 45 degrees and even a few instability showers potentially uh, tomorrow morning here in south central Mississippi. But the bottom line is uh, we missed the severe weather here in the Metro Jackson area. Just about a quarter inch of rain. All the bad stuff has been to our south and east down towards Baton Rouge and now down towards Hattiesburg and all off to the east towards the Gulf Coast. So uh, feeling very fortunate here in uh, Jackson, Mississippi at this point. But again, the tornado watch continues until 10. They're going to cut this back, I'm sure, the local weather service offices in the next couple of hours because it's obvious uh, that everything that's producing the severe weather has moved east of here. But don't be surprised, Mike Bettis, that we get some thunder overnight, uh, maybe some showers with the upper low. We've got severe thunderstorm uh, storm warnings well to our west and south back where it's more stable uh, as far as tornadoes go, but still a very cold air mass loft coming down with the upper low across the lower Mississippi Valley tonight and tomorrow. Mike? Mike, Mike, for our viewers that may live east of Jackson and they may not be familiar with the terminology squall line, can you help explain to them what threats come with a squall line tonight? Well, primarily with a squall line, it's usually a solid line of storms. It can be occasionally broken, but usually the main threat, Mike, is straight line wind damage. But you can get some uh, line echo wave patterns. You can get some spin-ups along the squall line. Uh, what we've seen so far, though, with these uh, tornadoes, they've been what we call discrete supercells out ahead of the main line, a cell here, a cell here, a cell here, not a solid line of storms. So uh, the squall line, if you had to take a squall line over a discrete supercell, you'd take the squall line, more than likely that's going to be, if anything, straight line wind damage versus those. All right, that's our Mike Seidel uh, out there in Pearl, Mississippi. Uh, we apologize for, for losing the signal there. Sometimes it happens in the weather. Let's update you on the forecast here across the east because we have some impactful weather across the uh, north. Place like uh, Hartford, uh, Bridgeport, heading toward Boston. We have some snow that's falling for you right now and out toward Providence as well. You may get, in some instances here, a quick one to two inches of snow may be happening just in time for your evening rush. As far as temperatures go, a lot of you, though, pavement shouldn't be that bad. Temperatures are generally running above freezing, so we'd call a uh, warm snow in essence. Take a look at the forecast as we go through the remainder of the night. Snow lifting off to the north here, headed up through New Hampshire and Vermont, eventually up through Maine. Temperatures warm south of there on 95. And look at the forecast tomorrow. Philadelphia in the 60s, Washington, D.C. in the 60s as well. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll take another look at the forecast here in the northeast, the Midwest, the south, as well as the southern plains. And ahead, winter storm Petros now getting going and coming up on Weather Underground. Our winter weather expert, Tom Nizzle, shows you the timing of the snow for both the morning and evening commutes Wednesday in the Midwest and the cities where as much as a foot and a half of snow will fall and that's not the only threat Tom is going to explain. I've suffered for 18 years with dry